yeah so good morning everyone and this is archana from this side and i'm sure all of you are already logged in okay so in the last session we took an overview of what organizational culture is and what we are going to see in this lecture series in this particular session onwards we are going to understand organizational culture one by one and we are going to see how we can implement this particular culture setup in our organization so in today's session i will be focusing on understanding organization and organizational culture so before we move ahead let us understand what is an organization all right so we resume now and we will be starting with understanding organization and organizational culture before we move with understanding the topic let us first understand what is an organization so an organization is nothing but a common platform where individuals from different backgrounds come together and work as a collective unit to achieve certain objectives and targets i'm sure the same are conveyed to you when you had joined the organization so this word organization is derived from the greek work organon which is a setup where people join hands to earn a living for themselves as well as earn profits for the company an organization consists of individuals with different specializations be it educational qualifications and work experiences all working towards a common goal which is the vision and mission that is stated by the organization and here the people that we just mentioned are termed as employees that you and me are so the employees are the major assets of an organization and contribute effectively in its successful functioning now you must be knowing that why this particular training program is being arranged for you because you will be the one who will contribute effectively towards the success as well as failure of the organization so you have to choose for yourself whether you will be on the success side or on the failure side so it is essential for the employees to be loyal towards their organization and strive hard in furthering its brand image which is very very crucial an organization can't survive if the employees are not at all serious about it and treat their work as a burden the employees must enjoy whatever they do for them to deliver their level best and if you enjoy your work you will be able to perform effectively and be more productive when you are doing your work because when you are happy you are likely to do lesser mistakes than when you are sad now with this let us move ahead with understanding what is culture because that is the next terminology in today's session so the attitude traits and behavioral patterns which govern the way an individual interacts with others is termed as culture so we discussed traits we discussed attitudes and we discussed behavioral pattern so these three things are the basis on which the culture is formed for any organization or for any employee so culture is something which one inherits from his ancestors and it helps in distinguishing one individual from the other if you remember in the last lecture we we discussed about passing on this culture from one generation to other like i had told you that you are now junior you are now fresh in the organization but one year down the line when you will have freshers when you will have juniors joining under you as probably the new employee in the organization what you will do is you will transmit the culture the values that you have learned in the organization over a period of one year to your juniors who have newly joined the organization so this is nothing but they will inherit the culture of the organization from their ancestors that is you ancestors and inherit inheritance is typically drawn from hindu family business so that is the terminology that they have taken it from now let us go ahead and understand what is organizational culture we studied what is organization we studied what is culture so let us club these terms together and understand what this organizational culture all about is so every human being has a certain personality traits which helps them stand apart from the crowd no two individuals behave in a similar way you must have seen this 
and in the same way organizations also have certain values policies rules and guidelines which help them create an image of their own so like no two people are same no two organizations are also same you must remember this and what makes them different from one another is the culture organizational culture refers to the beliefs and principles of a particular organization the culture followed by the organization has a deep impact on the employees and their relationship amongst employees so it is similar to our families no two families are same my culture my family's culture is going to be different than your family culture that's why we are different there is a different between the way we think the way we talk the way we behave and it has its roots in the culture you should always remember this every organization has a unique culture making it different from the other and giving it a sense of direction it is essential for the employees to understand the culture of their workplace to adjust well let us take two examples first focus on organization a in organization a the employees are not at all disciplined and are least bothered about the rules and regulations they reach their office at their own sweet time and spend their maximum time gossiping or loitering around then let's focus on organization b this organization follows employee friendly policies and it is mandatory for all the all the employees to adhere to them it is important for the employees to reach their workplaces on time and no one is allowed to unnecessarily roam around or spread rumors which organization do you feel would perform better yes that's correct obviously organization b because the employees follow a certain culture in organization b making it more successful than organization a no two organization can have the same culture the values or policies of a non profit organization would be different from that of a profit making entity or employees working in a restaurant would follow a different culture as compared to those associated with education industry or a manufacturing industry broadly there are two types of organizational culture we are going to see the main types of organization but to divide your two different organization let's focus on these two types one is strong culture and the other is weak culture so strong organizational culture refers to a situation where the employees adjust well respect the organization's policies and adhere to the guidelines in such a culture people enjoy working and take every assignment as a new learning and try to gain as much as they can they accept their roles and responsibilities willingly next type is a weak organizational culture in such a culture individuals accept their responsibilities out of fear of their superiors and harsh policies the employees in a such a situation do things out of compulsion they just treat their organization as a mere source of earning money and they never really get attached to it so we have to make sure that our organization has a strong organizational culture rather than weak organizational culture so as i just mentioned that there are many broad types of organizational culture we will be seeing all these types one by one in this session i hope whatever we discussed till now are clear if you are clear just put a thumb all right great so we move ahead with the types of organizational culture in the next slide you should be able to see all the types that are given in the chart so we will see it one by one the practices the principles the policies and values of an organization form its culture as we just discussed the culture of an organization decides the way employees behave amongst themselves as well as the people outside the organization let us understand the various types of organizational culture in detail number 1 is normative culture in such a culture the norms and procedures of the organization are predefined and the rules and regulations are set as per the existing guidelines the employees behave in an ideal way and strictly adhere to the policies of the organization 
no employees dare to break the rules and sticks to the already laid policies so norms as we know are rules the normative culture is all about setting rules and regulations and making sure that all of the employees follow them number 2 is a pragmatic culture in a pragmatic culture more emphasis is placed on the clients and the external parties customer satisfaction is the main motive of the employees in a pragmatic culture such organizations treat their clients as gods and do not follow any set rules every employee strives hard to satisfy his clients to expect maximum business from their side so normative culture was talking about setting rules and regulations for the employees whereas pragmatic culture talks about making having more focus on the external stakeholders of the organization third type of the culture is academic culture organizations following academic culture hire skilled individuals the roles and responsibilities are delegated according to the background educational qualification and work experience of the employees organizations following academic culture are very particular about training the existing employees they ensure that various training programs are being conducted at the workplace to hone the skills of the employee the management makes sincere efforts to upgrade the knowledge skills and attitude of the employees in order to improve their professional competence the employees in an academic culture stick to the organization for a longer duration and also grow within it educational institutions universities hospitals usually practice such a culture i'm sure organization like yours is also having an academic culture which believes in constantly training the employees so that they develop and be more productive at work the next type of culture i'm sure you have not heard of it is a baseball team culture a baseball team culture considers the employees as the most treasured possession of the organization the employees are the true assets of the organization who have a major role in its successful functioning in such a culture the individuals always have an upper edge and they do not bother much about their organization advertising agencies even management companies financial institutions follow such a culture so in a baseball team culture more emphasis is given on employees more importance is given to them and because the the organization understands that because of the employees the organization is surviving hence the examples of the organization that are following baseball team culture are specific those companies where creativity of the employees is of utmost importance next type is club culture organizations following a club culture are very particular about the employees they recruit the individuals are hired as per their specialization educational qualification and interest each one does what he is best at the high potential employees are promoted suitably and appraisals are a regular feature of such a culture so club culture also focuses on setting certain rules and regulations and guidelines but it is with respect to recruitment of the people so while recruiting they make sure that the main point that is mentioned here is the interest of the person so work is given to people according to their interest area so that is the uh, main part of club culture the next uh, type is the fortress culture these are certain organization where the employees are not very sure about their career and longevity such organizations follow fortress culture the employees are terminated if the organization is not performing well individuals suffer the most when the organization is at a loss stock broking industries follow such a culture so this this is a culture of hire and fire so if you are not performing well you are fired from the organization immediately so that is what fortress culture is all about yes one thing i want to mention is we are discussing these types but please understand that not one culture is right and the other culture is wrong or one culture is good and the other is bad all cultures are equal depending on your organization's vision and mission you choose a particular type of culture and you tend to follow it 
so please do not have this particular thing in mind that this culture is good and the other culture is bad yes so the next type of culture is a tough guy culture in a tough guy culture feedbacks are essential the performance of the employees is reviewed from time to time and their work is thoroughly monitored team managers are appointed to discuss queries with the team members and guide them whenever required the employees are under constant watch in such a culture so tough guy as the name indicates is the culture where micromanagement happens so you are always under the scanner you are always being watched and if you are not performing well there may be serious consequences taken against you next is bet your company culture organizations which follow bet your company culture take decisions which involve a huge amount of risk and the consequences are also unforeseen the principles and policies of such an organization are formulated to address sensitive issues and it takes time to get the results so the base of this particular culture, culture is risk taking and the last type is the process culture as the name suggests the employees in such a culture adhere to the processes and procedures of the organization feedbacks and performance reviews do not matter much in such organizations the employees abide by the rules and regulations and work according to the ideologies of the workplace all government organizations follow such a culture so whenever there are processes to be followed in fact not just government organization i'm sure all organizations are following process culture because whatever we do there are steps that are listed that is that there there is a process that is being defined in any organization so these are the nine types of culture we have to identify i mean this is a task for you you have to go back brainstorm and identify which type of culture is followed in your organization because there are people coming from different cultural backgrounds then it is really a challenge for the owner of the organization to divide to design i'm sorry to design such a culture which will include everybody every cultural aspect of the employee now with this we move to the last part in today's session that is we will be uh, understanding why organizational culture is important that is importance of organizational culture a uh, uh, sorry it is a culture as we have already discussed is a common platform where individuals work in unison to earn profits as well as a livelihood for themselves it is called as organization as we just discussed organization is a place where individuals realize the dream of making it big every organization has its unique style of working which often contributes to its culture the beliefs ideologies principles and values of an organization form its culture the culture of the workplace controls the way employees behave amongst themselves as well as with people outside the organization the first point here is the culture decides the way employees interact at their workplace a healthy culture encourages the employees to stay motivated and loyal towards the management number 2 the culture of the workplace also goes a long way in promoting healthy competition at the workplace employees try their level best to perform better than their fellow workers and earn recognition and appreciation of the superiors it is the culture of the workplace which actually motivates the employees to perform better every single minute third point is every organization must have set guidelines for the employees to work accordingly the culture of an organization represents a certain predefined policies which guide the employees and give them a sense of direction at the workplace every individual is clear about his roles and responsibilities in the organization and knows how to accomplish the task ahead of the deadline number 4 is no two organization can have the same work culture it is the culture of an organization which makes it distinct from others the work culture goes a long way in creating brand image of the organization the work culture gives an identity to the organization 
and in other words an organization is known by its culture number 5 the organizational culture brings all the employees on a common platform the employees must be treated equally and no one should feel neglected or left out at the workplace it is essential for the employees to adjust well in the organizational culture for them to deliver their level best that is to deliver the best output which is expected out of them next is the work culture unites the employees who are otherwise from different backgrounds like in the case of your organization so people who are from different backgrounds families have varied attitudes and mentalities the culture gives the employees a sense of unity at the workplace Certain organizations follow a culture where all the employees irrespective of their designations have to step into the office on time such a culture encourages the employees to be punctual which eventually benefits them in the long run it is the culture of the organization which makes the individuals a successful professional next point is every employee is clear with his roles and responsibilities and strives hard to accomplish the tasks within the desired time frame as per the set guidelines implementation of policies is never a problem in organization where people follow a set of culture the new employees also try their level best to understand the work culture and make the organization a better place to work Second last point is the work culture promotes healthy relationship amongst the employees no one treats work as a burden and molds himself or herself according to the culture and the last point is it is the culture of the organization which expre- uh, sorry which extracts the best out of each team member in a culture where management is very particular about the reporting system the employees however busy they are would send their reports by end of the day no one has to force anyone to work the culture develops a habit in the individual which makes them successful at the workplace so with this we come to an end of this session now the session is open for question and answers if you have any queries about whatever content that we covered today i am re- uh, available to answer your queries please go ahead please type your question and we will start with the discussion okay so since there are no question i'm sure you have understood thoroughly understood whatever we discussed today so in the next session we are going to understand the factors that are responsible for organizational culture to either survive or to destroy and how we can contribute towards developing an organizational culture in the organization next session we will be discussing case studies which i will already share with you so that you can go through it you can study it and come prepared for the discussion now for now we take a short break and we resume with the next session thank you so people if you have watched our video if you have liked it please share and like the video and to go through and to witness more such videos please subscribe to our channel sayo training keep watching us keep sharing keep liking and do subscribe thank you